What's up guys, welcome back to another color grading tutorial and I want to apologize that I've been missing for so long. My schedule been really crazy, I didn't have a chance to do color grading tutorials more often but it's all gone, I'm all finished with the crazy projects. So back on the saddle and we're gonna start making more and more tutorials very very soon and way way more often. Anyways, as I promised you guys uh, probably a week ago, that I'm going to be making a tutorial about color matching and today I want to do a very basic tutorial I'm going to do more in-depth tutorials in the future but today we're going to do we're going to just cover very very basics anyways so today we're going to be working with some files that I've shot uh, probably a year and a half ago two years ago on Blackmagic pocket camera um, the vibe that we've been shooting we wanted to do kind of a like a reality show like a modern family type of stuff you know the cameras always moving it's kind of popular now when you when you feel dizzy watching something you know so I want to match this clip to this clip and how we're gonna do that in resolve well there's few ways but I'm gonna show you very one and obvious and I don't know if a lot of you guys know this or not <laughs> so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this clip just like that and I'm gonna push and hold control and I'm gonna select this clip okay and I'm gonna right click over here in the first clip and I'm gonna select shot match to this clip okay boom now if we're gonna go to this clip and I'm, now you you guys can see that there's some kind of a little thing over here appeared like a few little dots I don't even know how to describe this and if we, I'm gonna toggle the grade on and off we can see that Resolve actually have done really really good job matching overall this to that I mean they, they actually look very very similar and look at the RGB parade so basically if you have a project and you know you're gonna need to be matching shots I really recommend doing this as a very very first step before you even start you know color grading and whatever else you may need to do so now how this gonna benefit us in the long run us I'm sorry not ass us so how is gonna benefit us in the long run okay so I'm gonna do a very basic color grading and by basic I mean I'm just gonna do saturation I'm gonna go just like this okay probably like that let's see what the highlights doing over there okay so this is pretty much basic rec 709 actually let's take one step further down and I'm gonna change the color of her shirt so luma versus saturation I'm gonna select green or teal we're starting with teal and I'm gonna turn it into green just like that I want to zoom in a little bit closer I want to make sure that we're not causing any kind of weird artifacts okay let's see okay looks all right and I'm gonna do one more node and in this node I'm just gonna do noise reduction I'm gonna go heavy let's see like that okay let's check it out really quick before and after looks great okay I'm gonna save this all right so I saved the shot from here okay and now I'm gonna go to this clip assuming that everything is matched and I'm gonna right click on a previous grade and I'm gonna click append note to graph if you're just gonna copy it like this your matching gonna disappear you're gonna copy just the grade but if you're gonna append node graph it's basically gonna add colors after the color match okay so this is our magic color magic node now how do we know if they look accurate or not well we can find out so if I'm gonna select two of these clips holding control and I'm gonna select this split screen you know here in versions I can go into selected clips okay let me go full screen we can actually see visually you know if we matching the colors or not 
Now, that's only one thing. Another thing, you actually have the parade now doubled. So, you have your selected clip on the left, and on the parade is right over here. And another clip, this one, right over here. Okay? So we actually can see that the left clip over here have more highlight speaking than the right clip, but we can change that if we're gonna go in the right clip. So I, I swapped them. Now we, you see that white window? The white window shows which clip you're working. So if we're gonna go to that uh, clip, I can try to match highlights a little bit just by spiking them. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can go maybe a little bit, a little bit like that, and we're gonna keep midtones more, more neutral. Okay, so let's check it out really quick. Before and after. So we spiked highlights a little bit to match this one over here. So if I'm gonna go to the full screen okay and if I'm gonna play both of those clips at the same time we can see that they actually look very very similar to each other okay so this is the basics of color matching in DaVinci Resolve thank you so much for watching guys I'm gonna be making more 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 tutorials very very soon and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon